I'm David, and with me this week is Q. It's good to be back. And today is Friday, October 16th, and here's what's been happening inside LHS. Today, seniors from across the campus attended the annual Gear Up College Fair in the gym. Alejandro and Andy talked to Gear Up Director Vivian Irigang about the Gear Up College Fair. It's your boy, Alejandro. Here with me today is my boy, Andy. And we're here with Vivian Irigang the Gear Up Director, and we're here to talk about college. We're here to ask you a couple of questions. <laughs> so, how beneficial is the college fair to the seniors? I uh, it's very beneficial, and I think everyone should take advantage of this. Um, the college fair is a gathering. It's a gathering of all the college representatives in the area. And so they're here to um, select a student the students that are right for their institution. So they're here to promote their college, they're here to uh, spread the word about the uh, different um, options that they have to offer the students. They're here to talk to you, they're here to, to get to know you. So it is beneficial for all the students. <coughs> what colleges will be here at the next moment? Yes, we're expecting uh, approximately uh, 100 colleges uh, from all over New England. Um, and so uh, we're going to have uh, all different options, technical schools as well, uh, two-year, four-year, private, public. Um, I can mention uh, some of the schools uh, we're expecting of the UMass is UMass Lowell, UMass Amherst, UMass Dartmouth. Uh, some uh, Boston University, Boston College, um, and some schools in Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, even Rhode Island and Connecticut. How will Gear Up help us in the college application process? So he, uh, Gear Up is here to support in the entire college application process. Uh, we work very closely with the guidance counselors and there is a Gear Up coordinator at each of the high schools, so make sure that you uh, get to know that person um, in your particular school. How successful has Gear Up been in the last few years? We, uh, as far as the college fair, so it's been very successful. We started about four years ago. We started very small, uh, and every year we have this event. We uh, keep adding more colleges, um, so it's been it's been great. Now we get the colleges uh, to call us because they want to be a part of it. Uh, what kind of information should students be looking for and asking at the college here? So seniors, this is your opportunity before you make your decision on the schools that you will be applying for. Uh, you should be gathering all sorts of information. This is your chance to find out if this is a, the, the right school for you. You're going to have many options um, here on that morning. Uh, questions that you can ask is, am I the right fit for your school or is, is the school the right fit for you? Um, are you looking for a two-year, for a four-year, for a private school, for a public school, for a small school, for a large uh, school, what kind of uh, clubs they have, what kind of programs do they offer? So all that, all, all those questions um, should be on your list. We will be providing you some questions for colleges so that you can prepare yourself in the event that you can come up with any of your own questions. Thanks to Alejandro and Andy and Period 4 News and Documentary for that report. For more information, the main Gear Up office is located in the A building. Last night, the LHS Theater Company took to the stage for the first time, for the first of six performances of the play, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. We talked to the director of one cast member about the performance. Hi guys, can you, can you introduce, introduce yourself and tell us more about the play? Yes, um, hello, my name is Juan Hoggins and I'm the assistant director of the show. Hi, I'm Alfie and I play Schroeder. Uh, tell us a little bit about the play in Who is Charlie Brown? Well, Charlie Brown is basically um, this character from a comic book um, and, and with his group of friends that are called the Peanuts. Um, they're also, um, they made a lot of TV specials about him. Um, and he, he ba it's basically about like um, friends having fun and um, the adventures that could go in Charlie Brown's neighborhood. 
Can you tell us a little bit of the chemistry that exists between you guys? Like, are you guys close? And have you guys ever worked together? Yeah, the whole theater company with Mr. E is a really fun experience, and we've been together, the whole cast, for like about two or three years. So yeah, I say we have good chemistry, and we all help each other out, and we have a lot of fun. How do you think the audience is going to react to the Charlie Brown? I think the audience is going to say that Charlie Brown is a really good play, and they're going to have a lot of fun with it because the cast actually interacts with the audience. Um, and the, the, um, when the cast is up there, it's like they're talking to the audience too, so they're going to say that it's really good. What can you learn from Charlie Brown? Uh, I think you can learn just be yourself, and you're good any way you are. What other plays are going to, to do at this school year? Well, Mr. Evangelist is actually working on, um, after Charlie Brown's over, he's working on um, the play of Macbeth. It's going to be the fall drama. And then after Macbeth's over, um, the auditions for the Shrek the Musical are going to be on, going on. And that goes up in April. So um, you guys should really watch it because it's going to be really good and amazing. Thank you. Can you tell us when and where and how much the tickets are? So tickets are $7 admission. And the play is going to take place in the Black Box Theater, which is here in the, in the B building. And it's going to take place October 15th, 16th, and 17th at 7 p.m. And the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, 7 p.m. also. Nice. Well, thanks, guys. This is Taina and Marielis, reporting from Inside LHS. The play will take place tonight and tomorrow night, and next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Tickets are $7 and available at the door. If you think you have what it takes to lip sync a song with feeling, the senior class is sponsoring a lip sync battle, which will take place on November 5th. Auditions for the lip sync battle started this week and will be running until next week at Friday, October 23rd, right after school from 3 to 4 in PFA room E201. Anyone on the LHS campus, students, teachers, staff, solo or groups can audition. The audition fee is $3, so bring your music and props to PFA room E201 or see Ms. DeFelice for more info by next Friday, October 23rd. In Lancer Sports, the season is coming to the last few weeks for most teams. Lancer Golf finished their season last week. Girls Volleyball is in action tonight against Methuen at 6 p.m. Football is away tonight at Drake at 7 o'clock. Tomorrow, boys soccer goes against Andover at 11 a.m. here at home, while girls soccer is away at Somerville also at 11 a.m. The mock trial team is organizing for this school year. Weekly meetings begin next Thursday, October 22nd, right after school in PFA room E201. If you'd like to learn to think on your feet and argue effectively, or just want more info, come to the mock trial meetings Thursdays in PFA room E201 or see Ms. DeFelice. Congratulations goes out to two MSC juniors who were honored last week for having scored perfectly on the MCAS math test. Pedro Lantigo and Anthony Tai were the high school students honored at last week's school committee meeting. Congratulations to them. Well, that'll do it for this week inside LHS. As always, you could check out a repeat on the news on Comcast Channel 99 and Verizon 41 every night this weekend at 5 p.m. and again at 11 p.m. You can also link from the LPS webpage and get to the LPS YouTube channel. This week, we're going to leave you with the crowning of the homecoming princesses at last Friday's pep rally. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll, we'll see, see you next week. week. as voted by the students. Representing the Business Management and Finance School, Princess Wayne Francisco, escorted by Juan Gonzalez and Ishmael Jenkins. BMF Princess Winnie Francisco crowned by Principal Sean McCarthy. <laughs> Representing the Health and Human Services School, Princess Jasmine Delacruz.
Cruz, escorted by Mikey Cabon and Ariel Cruz. Princess Jasmine Dela Cruz, crowned by HHS Assistant Principal Adam Johnson. Representing the High School Learning Center, Princess Wadley Swook, escorted by Louis Crispin and David Morales. Princess Wadley Swook, crowned by HLC Principal Mr. Bob Kerr. Representing the Humanities and Leadership Development School, Princess Arlie Silva, escorted by Kenny Richards and Sean Santos. Princess Arlie Silva, crowned by HLD teacher, Mr. Eric Allshouse. Representing the International School, Princess Jomaya Pimentel, escorted by Casey Tavares and Eddie Cabrera. Princess Jomaya Pimentel, crowned by International School Principal, Mr. Geraldo Acosta. Representing the Math, Science, and Technology School, Princess Lois Martinez, escorted by Willie Fowler and Ethan Olivio. <laughs> Princess Lois Martinez, crowned by MSD Principal, Ms. Alice Molino. Representing the Performing and Fine Arts School, Princess Freya Helena, escorted by Jamie Simo and Joya Feliz. Representing the School for Exceptional Studies, Princess Carla Romero, escorted by Daryl Munoz and Christopher Duran. Princess Carla Romero of the School for Exceptional Studies. Let's hear it for the 2015 Lancer Homecoming Princesses. The Lancer Homecoming Princesses will be crowned again this evening at halftime of the Lancer football game against the Methuen Rangers.